Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So, today we have got a system to view from the user Customize222 in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation. And this simulation is literally just called My Custom Solar System by Titanic Big Ships. So I'm guessing that was one of their old usernames. So, let's go ahead and uh, see what they have got prepared for us. So here it is here, so My Custom Solar System. So let's uh, see what we got. Right. Okay, cool. Right, ooh, okay, ooh, very, very crazy orbits in here, okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff, right, okay. Oh, wow, we. okay. So, all the way to the star itself, so I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of that, but there it is, Red Dwarf Star, looks it very, very dim. Uh, first of the planets, we have got this object here, looking uh, looking slightly modded in a way, I mean, it's got quite an interesting uh, surface going on there, so there's the first uh, planet. Then we've got the second planet over here, so that's Unax. Oh, I do like the way that one looks, I have to say. That's looking pretty cool. I like it. Excellent. Actually, one thing I want to try as well is, I think it was on, um... I want to try the view settings, and I want to have the planets appear larger, because I've never done that in one of these before, and I think it'd be quite good, actually. So, is it... Yes. Yeah, I want to, I want to, do, I want to do this. Just to make things a little more interesting. <laughs> so, I want to make them a little bigger, just so you can see everything sort of around. That does actually look quite cool. So, there we are. Okay, so that's the uh, first, uh, second planet, I should say. Then on to the third planet. So you can actually see them all now. That's so cool. Right, so orbits. So the third one is this one over here. So here it is. It's a blue sort of version of Venus, but it's a lot colder. So there it is, as you can see, uh, underneath atmosphere and clouds. There you are, looking good. So there is that one. All right, next up we have got... Oh, actually, all oh, the simulation actually runs as well. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Cool. So he's actually ran the simulation a bit. That's cool. Okay, so let's uh, slow down time, though. I don't want to go too fast. So this next planet has got city lights and molten rock on it at the same time. So how's this one? So 420 degrees. No water, but it has city lights. Okay, cool. So there is that one. Uh, next up we have got this one here. So it looks to be a more frozen cold like world. Got a bit of ocean underneath it as well. Looking slightly hot. Uh, stat wise, yeah, got some okay stats on it. And then it also has a moon all the way over here. So a nice little moon to go with it too. Awesome. So there's that one. Oh, it looks like the planets have been made smaller again. That's weird. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, then we have this one over here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna bother pronouncing any of these because I'm gonna butcher it. Like no tomorrow. So there is that planet. And then it also has one moon as well called Moho over here. That's quite a, quite a large moon actually in comparison to the parent planet. So looking good. Right, uh, next up we have got... So we've done that yellow one, haven't we? Yep. Uh, so now we've got this blue one. So oh, it's got a lot of moons here. All very close together as well. So they've got these little asteroid moons. A lot of little asteroid moons around it. You can see it's just the same object duplicated. But yeah, there you are. So we've got a load of little asteroids in orbit as well. It's almost like a moon that's been destroyed. Um, next up, we have got this one. Oh, it's a very red one. Very, very red. Okay. Anything interesting underneath the clouds? Yeah, an all-ocean world by the looks of it. Or is it a frozen ice, actually? I don't know. I'm guessing it's cold enough for ice. See, that's all frozen ice. Blue ice underneath that red sky. Interesting stuff there. Next up, we got this purple one over here. So it's another red, uh, redded out object. If we look underneath, this one's got an entirely different surface compared to the previous one. So there is that. Okay, so very, very red. All right, now we're taking a bit of a jump. So we've got all of these minor objects, I'm guessing. So we're not going to obviously visit those because there's not really much point. So they're all pretty basic. Then there's this purple one over here. Up pent, I can say that one. So gas giant. Got a few different sort of band colours going on it. If we look at the bands, so we've got sort of pastel light colours on it. Looking good. Then next jump out, it looks like a brown dwarf of some kind. Okay. So has it got any custom bands? It does. Uh, let's just turn the colour, turn it down so we can see. Oh, okay, we need to pause it. Uh, zero degrees. So that's what it looks like underneath, but I'll see it will increase with uh, the brown dwarf effect. So there's that. Then we have Nixie Iap over here. Hope I'm saying that right. So there's this one. 
So we've got more vibrant colours. We can see it's getting very dark out here. Not much sunlight really reaching this area of the system. If we look at uh, stats, because um, also it's a red dwarf. It's only taking 9.5 years to orbit, 2.7 AU, but it's also very, very dim. Next star out, or next planet out, I should say, a green gas giant, even darker here. I mean, you can't really see anything anymore, but there's a view of it up there. So purples, blues, and greens on that one. So that's Nus Polu. Right, and then further out, it appears to be mostly just random generated objects because they don't have any custom trail. So, yeah, we'll have a quick view of them obviously in the menu up here. But I think these are all just random spawns. I don't think there's anything customized out here, so we can just really skip through all of these guys. So, yeah, there's, a, there's just a brief look at some of them. But obviously, yeah, they're, they're all pretty, pretty similar. So, there we are. Okay. That's looking uh, interesting, but there's a lot of orbits. They've got a lot of eccentric orbits, so he's probably taken some inspiration from our own solar systems, the dwarf planets, where he got these really eccentric... I mean, there's loads of them, and this one here is not even in orbit anymore by the looks of it, but there you are. Okay. So I quite like that. I do like the more sort of realism sort of style to it with all the eccentric orbits all over the place. So pretty cool stuff indeed there. But yeah, there is his uh, custom solar system. So that was from the user Customized 222 or Titanic Big Ship. I'm guessing that was their old name. Uh, moving on though, we actually have a second system from them to check out today. Um, so it's called the Young Solar System. So this should be interesting. Also, it should be quite a familiar sight to us. That's, I've already got it downloaded actually. So... There it is. It's a young solar system, Saucy. It's going to be a young version of our own solar system, I guess. So, here we are. Whoa. Oh, it's a young version of his solar system. I see. I thought it was as in, like, our solar system in reality. But no, this is a young version of the system we have just viewed. I'm guessing. Okay. So, what have we got here? So, all the way into this. Oh, no, no. It is a different... Or is it? Is this... Is this actually how many be our system? I don't know, actually. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. No, I don't see any similarities with our own solar system, I have to say. I mean, I do see, like, Asteroid Belt and uh, bits like that, but obviously all the names are different, so... Interesting. Okay. So we have an Asteroid Belt. Okay, interesting. All right. So it doesn't look like it's a young version of the previous system we've just seen either, so I'm not exactly sure. N4 Gassy, 5th Gassy, so is that yeah, planet, good old Planet 9 there? Okay. Huh. I like it. Retrograde orbit as well. Cool. So we'll just we'll view all of these guys, but... Um, yep. So we've viewed all the inner ones, so out, out here as well. See, that, that planet, it was in the other system. So is, is this actually the same system? Or is it meant to be a younger version? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a younger version of the system we just viewed. But everything's name different. So I'm not really... Well, not everything, but a lot of them are. So, yeah, if we look out here, they're all just... They're all random spawns. So There's not really much. But we've got these two further color customized one out here. So we've got another sort of uh, ice giant look-alike. And then we've got uh, nut stack over here. So that's a nice blue one as well. Okay, so that's... um mainly everything then so it's obviously got a lot of planets there's not as much customizing here as the previous one there is just a lot of random objects but yeah there we are so there is his young solar system i'm not exactly sure yeah it must be a young version of the system we just viewed so it must be a young version of this it has to be because it's definitely not our own solar system so i don't know but that's a completely different star that Oh, that's, that's, that's an interesting one, actually. If, let me know what you guys think down below. Maybe if the creator of this is watching as well, let me know. But I, I'm assuming these systems are linked. I mean, they were posted at the same time in the Discord server, so I'm assuming they are. I don't know. That's a weird one. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for today's episode of checking out a custom solar system, guys. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this simulation. So Customize 222 or Titanic Big Ship. A massive thank you to them. And also, guys, if you'd like to send in your own simulation as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can send and upload your systems in there. But with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.